Hi, I'm Carrie with Penny Modern, and I'm here today to give you five different ideas to make over your laundry room this weekend. And I wanted to just review the ideas really quick. The first one will be shelving, and then we'll move on to cabinetry, and then utility um, features, and then storage, and then finally, last but not least, decor ideas. So um, this project came about because we had pretty much done our, redone our whole house from kitchen and our bathrooms and everything like that. But the one area that we hadn't touched was our laundry room. And this is more like a laundry closet because I do live in California and not a lot of people have whole rooms. But this is my laundry closet. It is inside my house, which is nice. And um, I can, uh, I, I, I would open the doors and it was kind of this rusty brown color. There was these old wire shelves and it just was not a happy place uh, for a chore that I have to do every weekend. And so I wanted this to just, the feeling I wanted to get it to give me was just, ah, and something that's relaxing and a nice place, kind of a destination. Um, so I decided to you know, make over my laundry room and I didn't buy a new washer and dryer. I did give them a really good cleaning. Um, but I did take out all the other um, stuff that was in here, mainly shelves, and give it a coat of paint, and then um, I add a lot of different features. So the first one, one that I want to talk about is shelving. And so the, the old wire shelving was very utilitarian. I wanted something a little bit nicer, so I got these Rubbermaid shelves, and they are awesome. Um, they're from Home Depot, and they come in all different lengths and widths. You can get like an eight inch deep, 10 inch or 12 inch and then you can get different widths that you just literally just cut off the end and it's already painted and you can throw it on some brackets um, so these are really great options and they're super cheap they're very like the most expensive one was $14 for like a really long one um, so these are a great option and then I also got um, some brackets from Home Depot this one has three brackets and I think they're like four bucks each and then the, on top, we have some nicer brackets that also hold a closet rod because I wanted to be able to hang stuff um, when it, for drip dry or whatever. And so those are a little bit more, I think they're only like five bucks or something. So, um, so I'll link to all those products below, but you definitely need shelves because you're gonna you know, put your um, laundry soap and you know, maybe a change jar or whatever. Um, I have different bins and things like that. So. You know, you, you need some shelving and obviously it's my closet, it's a laundry closet, so I need, I needed a lot of storage, so I put bins up top too. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was the cabinets. So I decided to put in two cabinets on either end and the reason I did that is because previously when I just had the wire shelving, you could just literally see everything on, um, on my shelves and it looked very cluttered and I, I wanted to be able to be more relaxed. So I decided to get these cabinets that um, are basically just stock cabinets and they're already pre-assembled and pre-painted and everything. They're just white shaker cabinets, which a lot of places have now. Um, they're around like 90 to $100. Um, you can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's and I'll um, link to them in the show notes. And what is great about these is they're super easy to install. You just find your studs and you just screw it into the wall and like you don't have to put them together or anything like that. So um, it was it was really easy to do. I did, did have my husband do it, I helped him. But um, I would highly recommend getting cabinets because it's gonna make it look a lot nicer and less cluttered because you can put, you know, some of your stuff you don't want everybody to see inside the, the cabinet. So um, that's definitely a good thing to do. And then the next thing I wanted to review was utility features. So I'll be right back to review that. Okay, so now I wanted to review all the different ideas for utility features. And by utility meaning kind of more functional than beautiful. And um, I really wanted to have different places to store some of the common household tools that I use. Um, places to hang up my drip dry items as well as a place to put like our broom and our dustpan and mop and stuff like that. So what 
one of the solutions that I highly recommend is a pegboard and that way you can actually design it to fit your needs, right? So the this is the Scatus peg, pegboard from Ikea and I'll link to it in the show notes. And what's great about this, it's super affordable and it has a ton of different little accessories to buy. So you can get these bins, you can get a tray, you can get hooks. They have special hooks just for tools. And then if you look over here, there's even more um, hooks that I added that you can actually put your broom on. Um, I added this one to put my dustpan on. And then this one I actually used to kind of like hang up underwear and things like that. Um, so I really like the pegboard because it fits your needs, right? Depending on what you need to, to store. And then the other thing that I would highly recommend is if you need a place to do, for your drip dries, uh, the closet rod. And this is really awesome because you can just hang up your items on your hanger and let it drip dry and then just take it right to your closet. So that way, you know, you're not wasting time like, um, folding it or whatever. So, so I really like having the closet rod and it was super affordable from Home Depot. I'll link to this one. It's adjustable. Um, and then the next feature that we'll go over is storage. Okay. So for storage, I have actually a bunch of different ideas for you. So the first one I wanted to go over was just some storage baskets. So, um, Part of the reason I didn't really love my old setup was that everything was kind of out in the open. And I really like the idea of using storage baskets to kind of hide some of the things. So I actually put in like, I have a, a shoe box in here and I put like used batteries in there and I'm gonna take them to um, the return center and, and recycle my batteries. But you know, who wants that like laying out? So I got these really cute storage baskets that are hyacinth and um, they're really beautiful. They add an element of warmth. And then I also got um, some similar ones for the top and I actually put kind of like empty grocery bags in there. Um, and then another really cool idea is to kind of, you know, just add a little bit of a nicer container for your soap pods. Like we use the little pods and I have this, it, it has a twist on cap. I wanted something plastic just in case I dropped it. I didn't want a glass jar like breaking all over the place. So, um, and then the final one is, you know, the cabinets, which we already reviewed. Obviously this can hide a lot of stuff and they're great for storage too. Okay, and last but not least, I wanted to go over a bunch of different decor items. So that way you can get some different ideas to decorate your space. And the first one I wanted to go over was paint. So this was originally like a really ugly brown color. Um, I will uh, try to put a, a picture of it here in the video, but I decided to just paint it the stone white color, which is the same color as basically the rest of my first floor. And so paint is always a way to transform a place. So we can't leave that out. Um, the other item of decor that I really love here and that I think really makes the space awesome is this peel and stick wallpaper. So this is from Target and it's a herringbone marble peel and stick wallpaper. It was super easy to put up. It took me like 30 minutes maybe. And what I love about this, it looks super realistic and then it also almost matches my kitchen backsplash, which is awesome. Um, and they have a bunch of different designs and this is an area, you know, your focal point, you could use peel and stick wallpaper, you could use peel and stick backsplash, but you don't have to spend a million dollars and actually put real tile in. You could just put some wallpaper in. Um, I like the peel and stick cause it comes right off if you get sick of it and you could really do a lot of different things here. You could be very whimsical and do something that you really love, like flowers or something like that. So I would definitely try to create some kind of a point, a focal point or like a wow factor, because again, this is kind of for you if you're decorating your laundry room for yourself. Um, so you want to make it something that, that you like and you enjoy and will make you feel relaxed. And then um, some of the other decor features that I added were this cute little sign. I just happened to have this. Um, it's kind of, I'm from, I live in San Diego, so it has different San Diego landmarks. I have some cute little fleet, uh, fake plants. I got a lot of this I got from the dollar store and then um, another cute little fake plant and then um, the hyacinth baskets. You know, these are also storage, but they're also really cute decor pieces and they add a lot of warmth because every, otherwise everything in here would kind of be like, 
white and gray, which is a little boring, but adding kind of these brown elements gives it a little bit more warmth and uh, makes me makes it feel more warm and inviting. Um, so those were a couple of the uh, five different ideas, not a couple, <laughs> for you to try to do your own laundry room makeover, hopefully this weekend. Um, if you have any questions or um, comments, please leave them below. And then also I'll link to all the items, as many as I can, in the show notes. And there's also um, my blog, pennymodern.com, that you can also see the whole blog post on all these ideas. Great.